Welcome to this video on the Navigator Store Doc System. Uh, this, the document archiving starts when you post an invoice. So when you're, you're putting your posting invoice works as normal. Uh, you put all the account details in the invoice details and record that into the into the system, just as you would do today. The invoice will generate a filing reference, which is key to the filing system. And you'd then post that, at which point the system will print out a form which goes with the invoice, which is used by the scanner. The filing sheet that's generated there has got a whole lot of barcodes in it which used to recognize that invoice, which goes with the scanning. So the documents are stored, are scanned with barcode, then invoice, barcode, invoice, maybe 50 or 60 invoices stuck together. They're put into the scanner. And then using the navigator scanning utility, which is part of the navigator, you can then scan those documents. Documents are then all run through the scanner. And the front and the back of all the invoices are scanned for archiving. You can then view those when they're imported into the scanning utility. You can see all the invoices that have been scanned using their filing references. You can check they're all there. You can view the invoices, check the quality of scans, and then you can file them away into Navigator on the main Navigator database. To retrieve a copy of the invoice, you can do that in various places. So for example, here, the purchase ledger, you can go into the supplier account, find the invoice, and then drill into the option to view a copy of that invoice where you can see the actual scan document that you've used. You can reprint that, you can zoom on it, you can email it out. The key benefits here are uh, the solution is fully integrated into Navigator. It's part of Navigator. It's simple to do the scanning. Uh, the data is stored alongside the main Navigator database securely. Retrieving is simple, one click procedure. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact your account manager.